Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you the effect of refraction phenomena that we learn in light chapter. So now, assuming this is an exam question in which the pirate is so hungry and can you help him to identify the location of the image of the fish by drawing the correct ray diagram. So if you look at this question carefully, you have to draw a ray diagram. So you, how are you going to do this correct ray diagram? So don't worry, I'm going to show you step by step. You listen it carefully. Alright, so now what you have here is the real fish or we call it object. Alright, so now the first step, what you're going to do is you draw on top of this real fish, you draw an image about the same size of the fish. Eh? So now this is the image of the object that we have at the, bit, at the bottom. So now, the second step, you pick any point on the real uh, on the fish on the sorry uh, you pick any point on the image of the fish in which you draw a dotted line inside the water and a straight line outside the water pointing towards the eye of the pirate so now you've got this line in which you have a bold straight line outside the water and a dotted line inside the water. You must use dotted line. Okay. So after you've done this, what you're going to do next is from the real fish, let, let's pick the same point which is from the eye of the real fish, you draw a straight bold line joining the eye of the real fish and the meeting point at the boundary between the water and the air. So now, you have completed the ray diagram. So, have you finished? No! The next thing you've got to do is to draw the direction of the light. So the light actually comes from the real fish. This is the ray diagram of the light move from the real fish and it is moving out towards the water and it is bent due to refraction phenomena. And if we recall the refraction phenomena, it is a bending of light as it moves uh, from one medium to another medium due to change in its speed. So this is how you draw a correct correct ray diagram based on refraction phenomena. Then we see again in the next video.